In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no Panton. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. What will the finale do? I want to see how Mio, you know, was doing her battles because she wasn't really fighting. She was more or less just kind of just, you know, just training with her gun move. But we never got to see the outcome of that. Party beneath the moonlight. No death. No fatalities. It's clean. We're too cracked. It was friendly fire. What? That's all that's left of him. His name was left? Nah, this is all that's left of him right now. He got turned into a little lizard familiar pet? <laughs> At a certain point, after she just stopped shooting, she's like, Alright, I'm just gonna eat your weapon now. This fight was never a fight. She straight up ate him. That's fucked up. Okay. Kind of. Yeah, we completed her two missions. Yeah. Oh, they're kind of jealous of Shiki, man. Shiki did get a lot of more screen time than the girls did. I think Shiki deserved it. Mio and Tomoe, they've all gotten their shit during season two and season one. But, you know, Shiki, I feel like Shiki totally deserved that spotlight. We're gonna have to take a word. Shiki's already dead, guys. Lich. Lime Latte. It's still fucked up here? That is embarrassing. No disrespect to our Elder Dwarves, but they're not meant for combat. They're artisan craftsmen. The fucking academy just abandoned it. We sent her, you know, craftsmanship, you know, fucking blacksmiths to take care of the mess, man. It's sucked dry. Mondo Online, let's see it. Mondo just bare fist. The fuck? I mean, we did say make this some kind of like uh, some symbol of something, right? But Mondo can just turn that into a tree, huh? Boris Togus, man. So this entire city is abandoned, huh? Demi-humans in the city who supports the demons. Do we know them? Do we know who the demi-humans in the city who support the demons right now? I can't name them at the top of my head. Okay. へえ、これがローレルの勇気しか。いるようです。そっか。そういえば、神殿からも感謝の言葉をいただいて。本に挨拶に来る。あれが勇気士ですか。リミアの勇者に手紙を出してきますので。あら、バイバイ。機嫌
<laughs> our poor students are gonna have to do all this back-breaking labor and but it's under the disguise of training yeah that's right it's gonna teach you about character it's, it's gonna teach you guys about discipline they're a special privilege rembrandt girls they can't be forced to do this stuff what are they up to here the privileges of being a daddy's girl. This right now. This right now. This is the current immigration process in Canada right now. Th th this whole scene right here. How fast they were doing it. That's their immigration crisis right now. I just want you guys to know that. Do not come to Canada. It's a, it's a fucking piece of shit hellhole here now. Coming from an immigrant myself. Maybe. What the, what the age difference actually is? One of them's even married. <gasps> Vacation! Not really. <laughs> Full time position at the school! The set for life path of the chosen ones. <laughs> That just doesn't matter to Makoto. It, 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 none of that shit matters. But I guess that's how prestigious these roles are, huh? Yeah, teaching is just a hobby. It's just a little side quest. I guess so many people set out to be like a permanent full-time teacher role here, thinking like if they get it, this is like... Everything will be solved for them. They won't have to worry about money, you know, it's like fucking, what's the word? Financial, like, independence, you know, uh, job security. But Kuznoa was like, nah, dude, this shit was a side quest. I got my own shop. Don't worry about it. Oh, this lady! The other escort that we saved before. Yeah. No, it's fine. We, he was a piece of shit, we know. But then Rembrandt did a lot of, you know, fucking talking to him. And then they were saying some weird shit about, you know, his past wife and how it resembles, you know, Rembrandt. Anyways, uh, maybe it's a turning of a new leaf here. Yeah, it's him. Uh-huh. So. And we're talking now instead of just, you know, text messaging. Man, no one is questioning that, huh? I guess it would be very inconvenient if every scene Makoto goes to talk to people now. It's like, whoa, sensei, you can talk now instead of, you know, text message talking? I guess it, it doesn't really make sense for everyone to be like, whoa, you could do that. It, it would get like repetitively annoying. So I'm just going to assume that in the manga or the light novel, they're like, whoa, okay, you can do this now. Okay. All right, we'll take that apology. That's it. Yes, many of the merchants who posed you died in this disturbance. Good. Good. Thank you, Rona. Thank you. Absolutely. Multiple kingdoms and nations. Uh huh. But. Is that a compliment? It's just like, Jesus Christ, just fucking. <laughs> oh, there's this animosity between us still. I. I don't really hate him anymore. I think that after what Rembrandt did to him and, you know, he's even apologizing. I, I think we're cool. Thank you, man. <laughs> Is this our brothel? <laughs> As in he's a virgin, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, the princess. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you have exceptional pectoral muscles because you do a lot of bench press and great, you know, pectoral exercises. I don't think that you're a woman. You have very nice chest. Okay. What do you mean anything? Yeah. My man built different. Root. You enjoy the show? Are you sorry? I, you, you were having a great fucking time at home watching Netflix. I don't know. I feel like Root, he knew all of this would happen. I feel like this is peak entertainment for it. Like, he was basically us. 
Just watching the, the shit go down, we're like, fuck yes, pop off episodes, let go! You thought that we wouldn't notice, huh? I thought the obsession was because Sophia is so... Like her entire power goes around, you know, absorbing different dragons. And because Root... I don't know if he is the apex dragon, but I thought that was naturally the progression of like, yes, if I, you know, eat the strongest ever dragon alive, then I'll be complete and now I'll be able to defeat you. But I guarantee you, even with that power-up, if that's even possible, she would have fucking lost. Sophia had like seven separate power-ups. I'd have to go back the past like two episodes and actually count how many different power-ups that she has. It was crazy. Did she escape? あいつの始末は譲る。僕に見抜かれるなんてどうかしてるぞ。お前が肩をつけたら、あら、は言うけど、今の誠くんはまさにそれだね。Yeah, I say that he's become a lot more assertive. I don't know. There is like that dark side of Makoto. You, you, you can see in the fight, and you can see in season one too, where he was like, there was a moment of the backstory where he had to like kill an animal or something, and he felt bad, but something like snapped within him. Right? And then, like, you can see the dark side, and, like, I, I like the new confidence of Makoto, man. I like this new direction. I hope he keeps more, you know, turning more into that. <laughs> Sophia! <laughs> Mutaki, uh, other dragons. Huh? Yeah. Dragon of Harmony. Damn. What's up, baby girl? You wanted to see the entire time. Hmm. Is Sophia really gonna die now? I feel bad. Give her a break. Can Sophia have some kind of redemption? I honestly actually pity her at this point. It's just like, damn. This, this <laughs> Give her a fucking break. What is the connection between these two? What is the connection though? <laughs> Are we gonna do this again? Are we actually gonna do this again? Okay, you have the strength to kill Root right now. Let's go, power up time. Fragments of the ambition she once held. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lin, for the gift. It's so appreciated, my man. Hold up. You're the throwback I created by mixing my blood with the humans. And there's the human right now. This is the Sophia. And before Sophia was Sophia, she had a different name, remember? Right? The experimentations. Oh, I'd have to go back to the past episodes, but okay. Two lives that he created on a whim? Oh. It's just toys. I actually feel bad. I actually feel bad. Sophia's kind of popping off right now. She's not wrong. She didn't ask for this shit, right? We're literal toys. Ru was like, oh, new dragon shit experimentation. Ah, it's all right. Goodbye. And then now Sophia just like suffering the entire time, trying to get revenge, some semblance of answers. You know, it's like, why do I exist? You know, that's like, that's actually fucked up. Sophia's actually popping up the soundtrack right now. The voice acting is crazy. This power Chowrood! I actually feel bad! Am I the only one that actually feels empathetic towards Sophia? Like, what Root's saying maybe is objectively correct. That, like, if she would had a stronger mind, that she wouldn't have just broken like this. But, like, she ain't asked for this shit, you know? I, like, this is actually so mean from Root. I genuinely feel bad. <laughs> Okay, okay, he's coughing. I don't know. Something about that finger motion. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> and then she was like, oh. She was like, <laughs> I'm so fucking immature. I don't know the finger motion and then the impact of her face is like, come on now. Nah. I'm not the only one thinking that, right? <laughs> What are we extracting? Our sources? The different dragon powers? What does she become? Does she just die? No, Sophia! What? Yeah, Japanese sword, yep. It's not that Lance became a sword. That's not the implication here, right? The Japanese sword was found, but that's not Lancer, right? He, it must have been a different adventurer. It must have been the guy that he fucked when Root was a girl. That's my fucking random guess. <laughs> this is so cruel. Yeah, so give it back to Sophia! Interesting. Please! What now? I don't know, he poured her in the dragon eggs. So, does that mean that the dragon eggs are now with Sophia? How does that go? I'm not really sure what happened there. He, like, extracted these orb-looking things, which are supposed to be dragons. And then he was like, I don't got time for this shit, so I'll just turn them into eggs. And then Sophia and the eggs disappear. So, I'd like to think... But he said that I'm going to have a little bit of revenge. Maybe he's going to dump it on Makoto and say, this is my revenge. You clean this shit up. I'm not really sure what the implication there is, but I hope that... Sophia has, you know, returns to the story somehow, because, like, if you really think about her, like, entire life, it's so cruel what Root has done to her. Right. Yes, while we're in the bikini. Trash, okay. Of course no one does. Motherfucker, dude. Look at the look in his eyes. He's gonna do even more deranged shit. Ugh. Well, you know, because he exists, we can just slam dunk on him and laugh at him the entire time. So, eh. Sucks, but eh. Alright, we'll see what he does next. <laughs> he exists so that we can just shit on him. It's fine. Eo and Rona! The ship, bro. Left his turn into a lizard. You wanna join him? And we still haven't met the Demon King, by the way. Next invasion. What are you gonna do to Kuznoa? And uh, I wondered if the person that the goddess was so, you know, shaken up about when, you know, sending Kuznoa out. Remember during that meeting after she gave us a DLC package and we start to bleed out a ride and there was a big banging and it's like he is here. Wonder if this is his majesty here, the Demon King. That's the only connection I can make. I don't fucking know. ロッツガルドやケリネオンでは本当にご苦労様。おかげで学園都市も復帰の巡りが始まると思う。もしこれから何か不都合なことが起きても、それじゃ。乾杯。乾杯。乾杯。乾杯。乾杯。乾杯。
モルケイたちの指導のもと町づくりのモートくん中です当然です彼女たちは仮にもケリュネオンの代表<笑>ののいずれどうしたらいむその程度で酔いつぶれるたんなさげです特にライム殿が素敵ですわ。Oh, I mean, Lime, Lime is pretty good looking. Yeah, I think Lime is pretty good looking, right? Like, alright, I'm c o r g a s How you. How. How do they. How do they see? What do you mean he's good looking? What the fuck do you look at? How do they see? I. Anyways. <laughs> Why do you always do that? She always does that pose, right? She always. She does this pose, she says she hates it, but she secretly loves it. She did it one time out of just instinct, and she was like, wait, what the fuck? I wasn't even supposed to do that. <laughs> Come on. Party time. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? You're a half man right now, right? Sexy. What do you want? t o g i What do you want? 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 <laughs> nice rebound. Yeah, right. Come on now. Everyone knows what you're fucking talking about. But, like, listen, like, Rudy is getting. Dude, Rudy. Every fucking e a s t e g a character. Fucking. We just finished the level 2 cheat. Dana Sama just clapped cheeks twice already, twice in the season. Rudy. Rudy's getting laid left, right, and center, bro. Makoto, do something. Bro, come on. Like, I feel like it's your time to shine, my man. <laughs> Personal congratulations, Inkami. They did really help out, and this is the ending theme. Yeah, the Sentai suit was great. It was fun. Yeah, your hot, your hot pot taste, I don't know about that. But Shiki was very useful to start the three advisors of Makoto. Damn, it, it kind of just like sucks that like Emma got power crept so early on. Because like, Emma was one of the first people we ever met. And was kind of like, you know, hanging out on this kind of level. But it's mostly Tomoe, Mio, and Shiki now, right? And Emma is in the background and doing some other logistics shit. But like, the Sunin, you know, the three people that he's like, you know, crediting right now. It's, it, 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 I wish Emma was here out too in the balcony, you know, getting some credit. Family name! What is the implications of the naming here now? Now, it's just... Misumi name, but what if this is like slime and they become even more powerful? It's probably just a simple name. Mimi. Misumi Shiki. Now Mio and Tomoe can't be fucking us. Because we're family. Unless you want to go into incest. And every anime does that anyway, so whatever. Yeah, two wives, one husband. Yeah, finish it with the poem, baby. What's the thing for us? And that, my friends, is the end of Kimichi Mula Fantasy Season 2. And I hear Season 3 is actually confirmed. This anime? Listen, let's, let's, let's give an overall rating. How do you guys feel about Season 2 overall? Not just this part, not just the tail end of all the hype shit. Because if we're gonna be, you know, biased towards a recency bias, of course, because of all the hype shit that's happening, I rate this shit like an 8 out of 10 in terms of enjoyment. There was a lot of stuff that happened in season one, uh, season two, part one, and part two. Some episodes were slower than others. Some episodes were not as exciting, but these are essential, you know. They, these are like build up episodes, set up, and exposition. And even though I didn't find it boring, I didn't find it like peak as well. So I would give it like minimum seven out of 10. That can be higher and probably into the eights if we're talking about some of the pop off episodes. Absolutely. The stuff that happened with Makoto at the end of this season, bro, you know, just battling everybody, that shit was hype. The conversations with the goddess, all this different revelation, the root, also super hype. Hibiki and Trash Mookin getting shit on, kind of pretty hype. Lancer getting fucked by Shiki, very hype. I thought overall, I'd be comfortable giving this like over seven. Definitely minimum seven and has room. 
it's not going to be a 9 and beyond, but somewhere between 7 to like 8 point something. I don't know. That's where I would rate this. Skimishi Moonless Fantasy is not an isekai that I think is too unique to me because there's so many isekais that we've been watching, especially like something like Slime, which actually is ironic because it takes inspiration from Skimichi and because of the watch order for me, it never felt like innovative or fresh. It was basically eating the foods that I'm, you know, familiar with. And it's a pretty cozy show to watch. It's a fun show to watch. It's not bad. It's also not the best thing I've watched, but it's a very comfortable show to watch. And I would love to see season three when it's out. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.